Hi there, Gemini, and welcome to your Oracle messages. I hope you guys are doing good out there. So Gemini, let's go ahead and find out. Okay, you, you just need to keep trusting. Some of you guys, you really are at a new phase in your life and you need to have patience. Um, some just, you know, play too, okay? Be willing to play in life and trust that you have the resources to get you guys through the challenges before you. So it's literally like you got to trust that, you know, you got to trust you, know, you can take two steps forward um, and keep continuing that path. And whatever needs to show up as some type of materialization of a resource you got to trust it because it will. Okay. Spirit's got your back on something here. So some of you, you may be wanting to, um, learn something new or, um, you know, learn something more about yourself too, for a lot of you Gemini's. Okay. So be willing to implement some type of new routine that is healthy and good for you, whether it's physically or mentally. Okay. Um, but spirit wants you guys not to fear or worry. Some of you Gemini's, you might be too, um, you know, forward focused. You might be going too uh, ahead in the future. And so you just need to kind of take a step back and just take, you know, see the two steps in front of you. Let's see, uh, what else you guys need to know here, Gemini. This one wants to do something here. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, the period of darkness that you're experiencing is now passing. You're at a new beginning here. You're at a new phase here. Be gentle. Be compassionate for yourself. Some of you guys may feel, um, you know, that maybe some of you guys feel that your authenticity isn't as appreciated, right? Because I feel that there's something very so true and authentic about you. I feel a lot of you Gemini's are like, um, truth seekers here, or, you know, there, there's just this sense of, um, you know, just this energy of authenticity and you need to focus on that as your strength, not as a weakness. Okay. So take that how it resonates, but spirit wants to gift you guys a situation where you don't have to feel that you can't um, take on challenges or problems head on, not second guessing yourself, not procrastinating, not avoiding, but just doing it head on. This is going to help a lot of you guys build the strength and wisdom and um, courage right now as your foundation. Spirit is gifting you guys um, leverage so you will emerge victorious because as you take a step forward here and move, you will receive exactly what you guys need information, money, um, you know, person, whatever it is. Okay. Now is a great time to, um, conserve things too. I feel Gemini, um, don't disperse your energy into too many things. Okay. You need to, um, you need to just be aware of where your energy is being, uh, executed. Okay. Or where your energy is being drawn to and try to figure out if that's really, um, you know, taking away from you or, or if it's adding to you. Okay. And then correct it. If, um, you know, if it is taking away from you, draining you, making you feel bad or whatever. Okay. Let's see what else, uh, Gemini, you guys need to know about your situation here. <clears throat> there is somebody here or something going on. I feel some of you guys just feel maybe not so sure of yourself or how to approach a situation, but Spirit is saying, use both your intuition and your intellect to solve the problem, to get answers to your question. So maybe for some, you know, take a step back if you need to, because if you're too enmeshed in a situation, it's going to be hard to see. Um, but Spirit is saying that right now we need to harmonize the mind and the heart together here. So do whatever you guys got to do um, to seek some type of peace and balance within yourself and as you do that, you will really be in the flow to receive answers or to get clarity. Um, sometimes when we're researching or looking for things too hard, you know, and then we take a step back, it's kind of funny how things just kind of, you know, pop up in your head or something just shows up and it's exactly what you were looking for or needed. That's what spirit is saying. Okay. So, um, now for some of you guys be willing, you know, to, 
you know, use, you know, logic and reason and your intuition. So if you do need to find out more information or seek information, do it. Okay. And if it resonates with you and your gut is saying, yes, this is good, then listen to that. Okay. It's, it's leading you in the right direction here. Some of you Gemini's might, um, find a person in your life too. And maybe they're around you right now that, um, is, kind of like a childlike or maybe um, somebody just to kind of play with and feel that sense of childlike wonder, you know, and, and just get, be in a state of playfulness. Cause I feel Gemini, there's just, it's a very serious type of energy going on here. Okay. So if somebody pops up on your path to have fun with, do it. Okay. Cause that's going to give you guys energy anyways. Uh, what else for Gemini? So Gemini, this is a general reading. So whenever you guys get to this video and it resonates for you, then it's meant for you. Um, otherwise, check your moon, your rising or your Venus signs or feel free to check out past messages as well. Those are all timeless. Hmm. Mm, some of you Geminis may need to pay attention to what you're mulling over in your head here. Okay. Just try to clean up some thinking if you need to visualize. Yeah, something new. Okay. And take a moment here because this is about you guys really tapping into divine energies to create or to get ideas or to be inspired. Some of you guys need to visualize and focus on the tasks at hand or what you guys would like to um, grow into or to have in one's life there was some type of completion that you have done here. Okay. And spirit is saying some of you need to maybe turn away from the things right now. And, and, and maybe, well, I guess what I'm trying to say is don't pay attention to the circumstances. If you don't like them right now, uh, seek that inner, um, you know, that inner wisdom and that inner creation that could stir up a new reality, new ideas, something new. Okay. What else for, and now, oh, some of you guys, all you may, <laughs> and all you may need to do here, Gemini, is actually visualize the answers coming to you or the clarity coming to you, and then, then be open to trusting that it will be. What's this card doing here? Oh my gosh, candles. Ooh, yeah, I feel a lot of you guys be willing to, um, I mean, that's just perfect with visualize, isn't it? A candlelight meditation or just, you know, Candles are very soothing and just having that warmth and that ambiance can be really healing as well and also inspiring. It, it definitely could create some uh, creative juices within you too. So um, I feel spirits saying for a lot of you guys, be willing to um, visualize, uh, maybe create a sacred space to where you could visualize intentions and put new seeds out there or get inspired maybe just have a sacred place here okay to get inspired with something new trust the uh, trust your instincts there's a lot going on here about your instincts right intuition and your intellect oh okay well, intuition and instincts yeah you guys need to um you need to pay attention to your surroundings uh, pay attention to what your body is telling you um you need to discern the truth of a situation. So some of you guys might be facing a situation where maybe some of you Ge Geminis are just kind of walking away or moving on, but it could still be a little bit hard here, right? From something or some type of loss or some type of darkness that we've had to experience. But there's something about you guys realizing your own strength and your own truth here, okay? I feel a lot of you need to just be willing to not allow yourself to feel small in a situation because you really are very strong and wise, Gemini, okay? Um, and Spirit is going to help you guys uh, figure something out when it comes to moving along your path here and feeling confident and good. What else for Gemini? Why do I pick up something for some of you Gemini's, you know, that something might be growing toxic or it could, or, or something about something not being that it could just be just not good. If we continue a, a certain way or a certain path or keep going backwards here. So your intuition and your instincts is telling you that 
see focus upon your strengths i was really getting this thing about you guys you know not giving into any type of weakness or feeling small don't feel small gemini or don't feel like you can't you know overcome something here now i really sense a strong there may be something here with like um, a protector a brother-like energy or fatherly like energy coming through here and uh spirit is saying focus upon your strengths okay no matter how big or small you think it is right now do not give into any type of weakness or pat or even things that make you guys feel bad okay you're uh, you know i feel there's something strong about you guys staying determined on goals here especially when it comes to uh, the passions that are igniting within you or about to a lot of you guys it's like you're having to light your own way right now and i know that can be or seem very difficult but whatever you guys need and whoever you need they will show up at the right time okay what else for gemini yeah gemini I, i'm getting i'm getting five of cups energy gemini i i feel that you guys really had to endure um you know a, a sense of grieving mourning of a loss or a you know whatever situation that didn't come to fruition or fell apart or, or or whatever okay whatever has happened maybe some of you guys you know there was a lot of fighting or arguing or i don't know drama okay but spirit is saying you know it's okay to move on and it's okay to create something new for your life um there's some hidden solutions coming your way too gemini okay so accept the situation as it is don't fight it don't even try to change it because if you're going to try to fight it and change it, guess what you're doing? You're exerting your energy when right now you guys are being asked to trust the resources that are coming before you or that are being provided for you. Okay. And to conserve that as well and utilize it wisely. So if you're going to try to fight something or change it or, or maybe even refuse to accept it, that's you're, you're depleting your own energy. Okay. And spirit knows that you've gone through something here. Okay. So you may need to have compassion for yourself, but then also this willingness to um, connect and soothe one's soul and get inspired here because spirit is gifting you this uh, yang energy. I'm, I'm getting ace of wands energy here. So um, a lot of you guys, there's some type of new passion headed your way. Or some of you guys, the opportunity is already here. You're just questioning it a lot, okay? Uh, what else for Gemini? Oh, hold on, Gemini. This one. We were just talking about that Yang energy, Ace of Wands energy, creative spark here. Indulge your creative, imaginative, and magical side through some form of artistic expression. Maybe candle making, drawing, um, sacred geometry, dancing, I don't know, singing, writing music, playing music, okay? This is also going to help a lot of you guys um, create that space, especially for some of you when you need some type of solution or answers, okay? Because if you create space in the mind by diving into um, the creative side of yourself here, you're going to allow something to kind of uh, download to you naturally, okay? I just feel a lot of you Geminis feel so different and rare and unique. And that's a gift that, that, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. That's why I was saying, remember, I think I was talking to you, uh, Gemini about you, you being so authentic here and don't think that that's a weakness. Cause I feel some of you guys, you know, yeah, maybe some of you had to learn, you know, about trust issues or something like that, but you know, this is part of your strength is you guys being very rare and unique. Okay. And I love it. So that means you guys are creating rare and unique things. Okay. So dive into that. It may take some effort, especially if you're feeling like crappy or poopy about a situation. It could take some effort, but just do it. Maybe at least just start lighting up some candles or, you know, like again, attention candles for some of you. Look, we're just, we, okay. I already said this. I'm pretty sure I said this about creating that sacred space. So um, it's coming out. Create a sacred space for yourself in your home and or place of work or wherever you spend a lot of time. Okay. 
because sometimes when when we're in one space for too long, we end up um, we end up being distracted by too many things and not plugging into the divine energy. Um, what else for Gemini? Some of you Geminis, there's something strong about the panda right now with you. Okay, so maybe something, some of you guys, you're really connected to panda energy. You love pandas or something like that. Some, some, some songs maybe, I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> what else for Gemini? Cricket. Oh, see? Oh my goodness, follow your moral compass. That's all you guys got to do. That's all you got to do. See, I'm telling you, I just know you guys really, okay. I just know you, Gemini. I know you guys. <laughs> oh, it's like we're all spread out all over the world. I know your family, your tribe. Don't worry though. Okay. Serendipity, moral compass and liberty. Don't be afraid to be on yourself or out on your own. If you have to, you will come out uh, just fine. Okay. And some of you don't fight a situation. Don't fight having to do something on your own or, um, you know, whatever it is that's going on here because spirit is going to show you synchronicities, things going on in your environment. This is all tied in with you guys trusting that the resources, um, are going to show up when you need to. Okay. Serendipity. Follow your moral compass. What else for Gemini? <laughs> Modesty, self-sufficiency, circumvention. Okay, so we're going to look at this one first. We're going to look at that one. Then we'll look at this one. Modesty here. Some of you, it's, it is about self-sufficiency and uh, circumvention. So, you know, uh, solutions to your problems, hidden solutions, uh, another way around things. Something is going to happen here, but some of you uh, have to pay attention right now a little bit. Some of you, okay, need to pay attention to your mood and how much it's taking away from your imaginative and creative um, energy and spark, okay? I feel a lot of you guys are being gifted um, strong abilities right now when it comes to trusting your own visions and your own intuition about what is good and right for you, okay? Honor a time of metamorphosis for some of you guys because I do pick up like moon energy coming through. So I feel Cancer and Pisces energy is showing up here, okay? So Spirit is gifting you guys another way or solutions, stay open to it. Just keep following your moral compass. Uh, two of pentacles, yeah, go with the flow here. Have fun. It even says fun and balance. Oh, look at that. Look at this. This is so cute. Two chimpanzees. See, I was getting this energy of you guys connecting with someone possibly that's very playful, like chimpanzees, okay? Very playful, You're, you know, fun, okay? Like you. Not saying you're a chimpanzee, but it's just about fun. So yeah, things may not go your way. Some of you, you're figuring things out when it comes to um, balancing one's life. Some of you guys, you're changing physically. Maybe your finances are changing. You're figuring things out. It's a temporary situ situation right now, right? This is the temporary situation. That period of darkness that you're experiencing is now passing. So just go with the flow. Um, now, some of you guys, you know that there is going to be things that you're going to face here, right? Especially if it's uh, too much for you or whatever is going on. So um, you may end up dropping things, okay? Or really choosing wisely, you know, what you want to keep moving forward with and what you don't. Some of you guys could be in between um, a partner or people or, or like... Uh, letting go of a person so that we can experience free freedom or, or something of letting go here. So just put it in your situation. It's general reading. Ooh, we got justice. Yes, 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 yes. These changes are destined. These changes are happening for a new reality for you guys. Um, we got this thing about moral compass. Um, see, I just really honor you. Gemini, I know you guys. I just know you guys are just like this. It's all about being authentic right now. That's really what's important to you at the core of, of your being, <laughs> which is a very honorable thing. So pace yourself. 
outpace yourself. We got Libra energy coming through. We got Earth sign energy going through. Righted wrongs, natural law. Yep, it's an something's already changing. Um, there's already been a situation that has changed the circumstances, whether it's choices, decisions, uh, cause and effect here. But Spirit is also saying, as you guys are moving forward, you need to really honor something that's true for you, that's right for you and, and for others, right? This isn't about, you know, trying to get back. But Spirit is saying, as long as you guys follow what you're guided to do, uh, you're going to come out on top of things and... I feel for some of you guys, if there has been any injustice, it may take a, it may be slow and it may take some time, but the truth will come out. And I see you guys having favor in a situation. I also see a lot of you guys getting favored with a, some type of significant partner here that is very trustworthy. Gemini, they could be an earth placement. Um, they don't have to be, but I do see you partnering, partnering up with someone that's destined on your path. Okay. That's authentic truth, a uh, true, uh, this person, um, is reliable. Most likely here, they could be physically fit as well or the complete opposite. But I do see someone that is uh, steadily working towards something here. Gemini, we've got some coiled up energy though. So it's really going to be important that you guys express, um, your energy or things that might be bottled up into you in a healthy, productive way. Okay. So we need to move some type of stagnant energy. What else for Gemini? Some of you guys might get some kind of um, favor in a work contract. Some of you guys, there's something going on here, maybe with money, finances, um, securities, documents to sign or to review. Okay, so for those of you guys, just make sure that you're reading everything. Don't overlook anything, right? Take it slow. Oh my God, be silent and pay attention and simply observe with your eyes, ears, and physical feelings what is happening inside and all around you. So you're learning something new when it comes to um, sensing what is uh, what's going on here and to... Um, open up something between you and the divine, actually, with your own abilities and gifts of fo following your own moral compass here, right? So something is already working out in your favor here with justice, a balance here. Um, you just need to be aware right now of what's really going on, okay? Pay attention. What else? get support from trusted group of like-minded friends. I am telling you, I really, okay. So for those Gemini's out there that might be feeling a little hopeless when it comes to support a group of friends, like-minded friends, right? A family, a tribe, you know, support, whatever you're going to get it, but you guys got to be willing to also, um, you know, look out for that as well. Okay. Some of you Gemini's you already know, or just be willing to seek out help or support, maybe even professional if you need it, whatever it is. Be willing to look for the opportunities um, here to connect with others that are good and healthy for you, okay? What else for Gemini? Mm -hmm. You guys need to drop something. You guys need to drop something, whether it's heavy emotions, uh, overdoing it. I don't know. We got, we got the 10 of wands here. Ambi listen to this. Ambition is a good servant, but a bad master. Got too much on our plate for some of you guys. That's why that two of pentacles is showing up. Changes, learning priorities. Some of you guys, you know, y you're going to be ending up dropping some things. And it's a good thing because, you know, here's, here's the deal. You guys don't need to feel bogged down pay attention to what is taking up or utilizing our energy some of you you may be you may be asked to kind of do things different as well because some of you you might have just taken on too much now hopefully some of you guys aren't feeling a sense of oppression here okay but solutions are coming so here's this really cool thing spirit is giving you guys a um <clears throat> a quantum leap in a new direction 
but you got to be willing to, you know, lay what we need to lay down here so that we can see, we can take opportunities. Okay. So trust the direction that your life is going right now. Don't let, you know, some of you guys, you know, old things right now that maybe once were desirable, but they're not desirable now. So you got to listen to that because if it's not desirable, you, you guys are going to feel more depleted. Okay. So it's important that you don't feel depleted because you're always going to be um, infinitely supplied from the divine to create new things, new energies, whatever. Okay. And it's like this mama, this maternal, this mama's coming here. I'm getting here. Yeah. <laughs> Could even be my energy because I'm like feeling this mama energy of telling you guys, please take it easy here. My God, you guys are headed towards burnout or some of you guys really are burnt out. So you need to take it slow, slower than maybe normal. What else for uh, Gemini? You are seeing the situation accurately. Mm -hmm. This is why the more you guys can just be in a state of observation, be silent, pay attention, and simply observe, with your eyes and your ears and physical feelings of what's happening inside and all around you, you're seeing it accurately. You guys actually are seeing a situation, right? Maybe the truth has already been exposed within yourself here and you know what the most honorable thing to do or the choice is or was. What else for Gemini? And I am also getting this message again, more, um, more about you guys trusting what's best for you over others, okay? Or what you think others think you should do or be or whatever look like, I don't know. But anyhow, stand up for yourself, look at that, and speak your truth respectfully. Excuse me. Okay, let's start over. <laughs> stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to the outcome. <laughs> I know that can be hard. So some of you guys, you might need to just speak your truth, but don't expect an apology or don't expect like favor. Don't expect to attach something from them, right? Uh, that's just for some of you. But now for some of you too, there may be something here too where you just need to trust that as you continue to be of service, because I see some of you guys really of, of being of service to others. Um, you know, don't ex don't don't put your um, don't. OK, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say is when you're doing your service and stuff for others, uh, don't expect anything to come back. Just let um, let it come back in its own way, because it will. OK, it will. Um, but sometimes when we do attach an outcome to what we think people should do or say after we've expressed ourselves or after we've done something, we can get quite disappointed, okay? And so um, you're better off just being your real authentic self um, and allowing a situation to just unfold its, itself naturally, but without you guys feeling, right, um, little, okay? Because I feel a lot of you guys, the more you focus on your strengths and, and um you know, what makes you, uh, I mean, you're just this big energy. I mean, we got the shark, we got a boar, we got a unicorn, <laughs> we got a polar bear. Spirit's going to gift you guys some kind of new seed of hope too. So pay attention to that. There's something new that's going to get you guys excited. Okay. Um, so don't be afraid to just kind of speak your truth when you guys need to, and you don't need to hide anything about yourself either. Okay. What else? or hide what you're doing because yes, you guys are being, I'm getting star energy here. You guys are being called upon to provide leadership. So trust that you're capable of doing so. Look at that, focus on your strength, okay? So yeah, I'm seeing a powerful leader here, okay? So some of you, you know, you may not realize this, but a lot of your long-term goals and plans that maybe have settled in the back of your mind from years ago might be coming to fruition, okay? Now, some of you pay attention, start focusing on some long-term goals. What do you guys want later on, right? And then just start doing your things right now and don't worry about the rest, okay? But you've gotta have some, some type of direction here, okay? And I see a lot of you guys do. 
So some of you guys, you may need to um, be confident and go after who and what you want as well. I'm seeing a lot of passion here. Uh, what else? Yeah, let, com <laughs> let compassion and forgiveness be your top priority in this situation. Look, justice. So whether we get forgiveness or not, this is about you guys feeling peace in your own mind, your spirit, and your heart because you deserve it. You don't deserve someone to take away from you or to make you feel bad or feel wrong, right? Because you guys can summon your own peace because spirit has got your back in a situation here, okay? Now, some of you, there could be an apology or something coming your way, but it could be very slow, okay? But right now, we need to just let compassion and forgiveness be your top priority for your own health. Because when we're stressed out or we're feeling bad about something or someone, even guilt, uh, resentment, that really takes a toll on your physical health, your emotional health, your mental health, okay? What else for Gemini? You need to be the priority now, Gemini. And I see some, time, some of you guys... You need to watch out, Gemini, because there could be, for some of you guys, being taken advantage of with that Ten of Wands. Or some of you, you're feeling really bad or guilty about a situation and that's overtaking you. There's just more about you guys making a stand for what you believe is right for you. Oh my God. Yes. And I even brought this up about you guys not caring what others think. I think, you know, trusting your own vision over others. Look at this. Make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels, see, listen to this, do what feels right in spite of judgment or disapproval from others because you are seeing the situation accurately. What else? Remain vigilant about the current situation and pay attention to signs and omens and let them dictate your choices. Told you, you guys will be uh, gifted and given signs, omens that will help you guys with solutions, choices, decisions, whatever. Okay. So you do want to remain vigilant, right? To a point, but also take time out, right? And rest and recuperate rather than continuing your striving. So some of you, you know, just take a step back here. Yes, you can remain vigilant, but spirit is saying some of you look at this. We've got that 10 of wands here too. take time out. You're, you're, you're going to burn yourself out and you're not going to accomplish what you want to accomplish in an effective and quality, quality way. Okay. The more you guys can take a step back, um, take little breaks here and there. Okay, real long breaks. Maybe some of you guys need a good solid break. Um, you'll 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 be more productive. Okay, because I see a lot of you feeling really tired and drained right now. Actually, well, let's see. Let's put this one over here. I mean, this is why you guys want to remain vigilant. Is because you guys are powerfully finding this path right now, or leading some type of path that is calling you guys to be a leader. What else for Gemini? I love it. Don't be afraid to lead your own way. A lot of you Geminis, I see you guys as um, having some type of, either you're in this right now or you will come into, as long as you keep following what you're guided to do, a position of authority of some type okay maybe some of you guys will end up having a big business or your business right now or whatever you guys are doing will be enhanced here especially when it comes to uh, spirituality um, higher forces are at play here and spirit is saying god is saying look the period of darkness that you have been um, experiencing is now passing some of you guys need to follow others right now, especially if you feel like you don't know what to do. There's a teacher and guide in front of you or will be bestowed upon you. So pay attention that you guys can follow the lead because you don't need to figure everything out right now. 
okay? You just need to take one or two steps forward and Spirit is going to gift you someone to follow the lead as well if you need it, okay? But I, I see a lot of you guys, you know, spirit guide here, spiritual teacher, whatever, okay? Trust your commitment with yourself and spirit too. Now, <laughs> some of you guys have been praying for marriage or a, a, a spiritual type of marriage. It's coming, okay? Taurus energy is coming through. What else? Artistic expression, yeah. Remember we were talking about this. Some type of energy, coiled up energy right now needs to be expressed in a healthy way. So maybe you guys want to learn something new or do something different. You know, sing, write songs, listen to music. I don't know. Do whatever you guys are feeling inspired to do and just dive into that. Because that could actually give you guys um, a mental, um, emotional, and physical break as well if you can't, you know, if you feel like you can't get out or, 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 you know, take a vacation or whatever, okay? You need to dive into your artistic expression. Um, and this is going to help um, the energies align up with you so that you guys are feeling very clear and harmonious in your heart and your mind, okay? And that's when things are very clear and that's when we feel very confident. What else? Because Jesus is giving giving you guys something or someone to love. <laughs> and by the way, artistic expression. I mean, this is tied into love, creation, right? So a lot of you in the love department, it, something's happening here, okay? But some of you don't block yourself, right? Because some of you, you you know, we're we're overdoing something or something is too too much right now. And Spirit wants you guys to open up to something new to love, right? So it gives you guys energy so that you guys can actually do more, give more of yourself. What else for Gemini? Yeah, come out of the closet. Don't be afraid of who you are. I know some of you guys, there's just a strong thing about, you know, coming out and not caring what others think right now. Okay, in spite of judgment or disapproval from others, be willing to show yourself more or, uh, you know, some aspect of yourself and don't be afraid. Come out. Come out of the closet. What else? Yeah, you guys are connecting with the tribe here. You guys are going to find your tribe if you don't feel like you have a tribe or... Uh, again, we, yeah, come out of the closet. Oh, you guys need to, some of, yes, you guys need to connect with others right now, okay? Uh, positive people, right? Connect with uh, others or put that as your intention and focus and spirit will gift you guys your soul group, okay? There is uh, something for you guys to focus on right now, but spirit is saying, come out, celebrate, have fun, be willing to connect, okay? This is some happy times here, some fun times. So I do see some of you Geminis getting out and socializing more or just connecting with others, okay? What else? Fortitude, passion, and leadership. You guys really are meant to follow your dreams right now. Your dreams are manifesting. My God. Yes, they are. A lot of you guys are going to be collaborating um, with others too, possibly here. <clears throat> uh, not all of you, but some of you guys, because I do see a lot of you right now. You guys are uh, going to have to take some courage into really honoring what the path that you guys are being, um, led on. Okay. Because I see something about a lot of you guys being passionate about taking on some type of leadership or, you know, maybe even being a trailblazer in something here. So follow your dreams. You truly are advancing and things are going to be working out. Now, if you guys have been stressed or worried about money, as long as you guys are creating healthy habits, creating a, you know, a financial budget, you guys are going to be well off. If you're not yet, you will be well off. 
power, wealth, ruthless. I mean, we got the king of pentacles. So I'm seeing someone and something that is very promising. So some of you Geminis need to believe that either you're doing it now or you're going to be led on a path that whatever you guys are building, it will last with, you know, consistency, discipline, and, you know, effort into creating, um, you know, something very solid for you and following that. I also see a promising uh, person here. Some of you guys, um, you may, you, you possibly yeah, may have a choice when it comes to people, um, whether it's friends, lovers, business partners, there's going to be exactly who and what you need. Okay. So don't worry about that. So I feel a lot of you guys just need to know that there is a situation here where you're really destined to be very successful, okay? And you're meant to follow your dreams. You're meant to manifest your dreams. Even if you can't see your, the full picture of all of your dreams, Spirit's going to help you guys in that department as well. Now, for some, you got to be willing to get out and do things, okay? You got to be willing to be adventurous and do things different in order to get something or, um, ha yeah, get something different here or different results. Oh, let's see. I was getting something here with the, the, the uh, okay, hold on. There's something coming here with this, the Knight of Wands. Um. Oh, you know what I'm getting? <laughs> rebelling. <laughs> Some of you guys might feel that you are rebelling and that and, and you might feel bad about that. But you guys have to trust what you're being guided to do. You need to make a stand and believe what's right for you, okay? In spite of others. What else for Gemini? Meditate, Gemini. I know it's easier said than done, but well, look at that and draw here. Yeah, look at this. Meditate. Take it easy. Clear your clear your space, your energy, your mind, your environment right now. Um, and maybe if you don't like meditating in this form, I mean, you know, whatever, draw, okay? Meditate. Just kind of be in the present moment here. Um, I feel a lot of you guys, you're really being shown your true destiny, your true path. Um, now for some of you guys, maybe you thought something was your destiny, right? Well, you got to be willing to understand that, um, you know, that's the history now, but new, a new, de your, a new destiny has been born for you. Okay. And we also need to do whatever we got to do right now to get into alignment, to help you guys feel a sense of being recharged, not depleted or tired. What else for Gemini? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out how uh, Spirit is helping Gemini. How is Spirit helping Gemini? Nice. Nice. Oh my gosh. Well, no wonder spirits like chill out, meditate. It's okay. Go play if you need to take your time. If you need to spirits helping you guys with creativity, fertility, a partner, <laughs> a dream partner for some of you guys, a very loving and abundant nurturing partner, whether it's a friend or a lover, I don't know, but this is going to be somebody that's very desirable and a wish come true for some of you. But the other thing that I'm seeing is, wow. The Empress, come on now, uh, radiant, beautiful, uh, being provided for. Spirit's helping you guys really honor um, the feminine aspects of yourself right now to be in the flow of receiving some type of wish and granted. I was getting this thing about destiny, like star card here, wishes granted, nine of cups, yes, okay? So Spirit's helping you guys give to yourself to feel satisfaction with oneself, regardless of the cir circumstances right now. Spirit's also gifting you guys um, new things like, uh, you know, be willing to reinvent oneself or um, give birth to a new lifestyle or new things, new projects, but you gotta be willing to let go of something that isn't working or, or becoming too much for you to open that up too for some of you guys, okay? 
there's something that also spirits helping you um gemini's a lot of you guys feeling very confident in a very healthy way okay not a ego egotistical way or uh, or conceit but in a healthy way right so there's a lot going on here with you guys feeling nurtured taken care of and feeling blessed that you're being provided for with more than enough from the universe you're getting a wish come true. This is why spirit is saying, oh my gosh, and the candles. Oh my goodness, like blow out the candles and make a wish. Remember I was talking about intention. You're gonna get a wish come true. So we might as well put your wishes out there if you haven't, okay? Now, some of you guys, you just have to trust that wishes that you, know, you had prior or long ago could also be manifesting in your life. Spirit's helping a lot of you guys um, seek comfort within your own skin, doing things. Maybe some of you guys are learning more about taking time out for oneself, relaxing or doing things that help you um, feel uh, more handsome or more beautiful or whatever, okay? So honor that. You're getting a wish come true here. So just count your blessings because there's going to be more on the way. So don't fight a situation. You're getting something good here. Okay, love and light, take care.